Ibo bi we kenemu no na asinu no na Ibo online college. If you're a new subscriber, welcome in a special way. If you are a returning subscriber, I welcome you and thank you for coming back. Okay, today I want to teach you some verbs. And the verbs I'm going to teach you today is eating verbs, verbs of eating, verbs of eating, verbs of eating, verbs we use to express different forms of eating. In my last video, I treated in to drink, so I'm not going to be talking about that today. So we have other verbs, iri, to eat, iri, to eat. This is a general word, verb, used to say eating, iri, to eat. Now, the present tense of this verb is neri, neri means is eating neri is eating so we can say flogs nerinri emeka nerinri chukwode nerinri these all mean that flogs emeka or chukwode is eating food He or she is eating food. Or neirinri. He or she is eating food. Or neiri usikapa. He or she is eating rice. Or neiri awa. He or she is eating beans. I neiri otara. You are eating water, that is swallow. Ani neri usikapa. We all are eating usikapa. We are eating usikapa. Ani means we. Unu neri nduku. You all are eating nduku. Unu, you all are eating. Potatoes. Nduku means potatoes. So, to indicate present continuous or a habit, kind of habit, like I can say, Anam eri osikapa. I eat rice. I eat rice. So, when you use na eri, it could mean the person does it as a habit or the person is doing it right then. So these are the two things it could mean. It now depends on the context you are using it. So we say, Neri, when you want to use it, just add the person's name at the beginning. Neri, in the middle, then whatever the person is eating. Now, in English, even if you are taking snacks, Englishman will say you are eating whatever. For instance, if you are taking burger, they will say you are eating burger. The Englishman can say you are take, you're eating burger. But in Igbo, we do not say neri burger. Anything that is snack, any snack, snacks of any type, burger, cake, meat pie, whatever it is that is not a staple food, we use nata. If, you are, if, you, if that food is chewed, bread, onata, bread. So we don't say neiri for snacks. We don't say neiri for burger, cake, bread. Anything in this family, for meat, we do not say neiri. We only say use neri for staple food, food that you cook. <laughs> food that you cook. 
with your condiments, with your ingredients, you cook it and use it as a staple food, as a main course meal. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, I hope you understand it. Okay, so we say on a you just add the pronoun Neri and whatever the person is eating. Like I say always, you must not know what that person is eating. The name it is called in Igbo. In Igbo. Mm -mm. Even if you do not know the name it is called in Igbo, say the name in English, but use the format. Or Neri, you say the name of whatever the person is eating. Or Neri. Emeka Neri, Adora Neri, Emmanuel Neri, then you say whatever the person is eating. That is about the present tense or indicating a habit, what someone eats. Now, the negative form of this is Onaye Eri, Naye. Naye, this is the central Igbo. Naye eri. Naye eri. So you, you mention the person's name or you the, the pronoun you want to use. Naye eri. Then you say whatever the person doesn't eat. Naye eri does not eat, is not eating. That is what the phrase means. Nai Eri is not eating. Nai Eri is not eating, does not eat. So it depends on the one you want, you are saying at the time. You can use Nai Eri to mean is not eating. You can use Nai Eri to mean does not eat. Do you get that? Good. Now, to use this Nai Eri, you just add the person's name. Or the pronoun or or a or any or unu at the beginning then in the middle you say nai eri then whatever the person does not eat or is not eating i hope that is very good <laughs> okay we go right ahead now for you to state the past tense of Iri, you say Oriri. Sorry, Oriri is the past tense. That is the past tense affirmative. Riri, Riri, it, Riri, it. Oriri. You notice that the other one I said. Oniri, this one is O Riri. O Riri. O Riri. You mentioned the food. O Riri Ungri, he or she ate food. O Riri Osikapa, he or she ate rice. Chine do Riri. Otara. Chine do ate Otara. I ate a goosey soup. Unu riri nduku. You all ate potatoes. So that is the past tense. Riri. You say the person's name or the pronoun you want to use. In the middle, you say riri. It. Then you say whatever food the person ate. Now the past negative is rigi, rigi, origi osikapa, origi osikapa. He or she did not eat rice. He or she did not eat rice. Erigi, I didn't eat food. I did not eat food. So basically, I did not eat. 
He really Nduku. You did not eat potatoes. So you add the person's name, really, then whatever food the person did not eat. This one is did not eat. Not does not eat. Did not eat. Does not eat is nari eri or nari eri does not eat or is not eaten. Really did not eat. You got that? Yay! Good. Now we go over to how to say the future tense. Future tense. The future tense affirmative is ga eri. Ga eri. Say that ga eri. So you add the person's name at the beginning or the pronoun. Then ga eri will eat. Then whatever the person is going to eat or will eat. So let's give some examples. Or Ga eri osikapa, he or she will eat rice. Or ga eri osikapa, he or she will eat rice. Uchena ga eri nduku, uchena will eat potatoes. Agam eri, I will eat. Agam eri nri. Olulo or Agam Eri Otar Agam Elo Otar. So Agam Eri Ofe Egusi. Agam Eri Ofe Egusi. I will eat Egusi soup. <laughs> I will eat Egusi soup. Agam, when you're talking about yourself, Agam Eri Ofe Egusi. Agam eri nri oka. I will eat swallow made from oka <laughs> corn ufu. Corn ufu. Okay. So let's go ahead. That is how to state the future affirmative. So you say the name of the person or the pronoun, then ga eri. Then you mention whatever food the person will eat. I hope that is clear. So the future negative. Gai eri. Gai eri. The person's name or the pronoun. Gai eri. Then whatever the person will not eat. Gai eri means will not eat. So we say or gai eri nri he or she will not eat food or gai eri usikapa he or she will not eat rice adora agai eri nduku adora agai eri nduku adora will not eat potatoes adora agai eri agua Adora will not eat beans. Agai meri agwa. I will not eat beans. Agai meri agwa. I will not eat beans. I hope that was clear enough. So when you say anai meri, when you say every room, it means I eat. When you say Anam eri, it means I am eating. Then the, you mention the name of the food. Anam eri, I am eating. Ina eri, then you mention the food. You are eating. You eat. Agam eri rim, I eat. Every room I eat, every room you can mention the food. Every room I eat. Oh, really? He or she ate. You can mention the food. He or she ate. Oh, got every. He or she will eat. You mention the food. Agam every. I will eat. You mention the food. 
Agai Eri, I will not eat. Agai Eri, he or she will not eat. So I hope that was clear enough. That is about eating. That is Eri, eating.